through damage. What's good about Myanmar is it, they actually secured a tank. But then again, an answer to an answer for uh, for this uh, three first picks of our teams, it's just the same. Two side laners and then a solid tanker. So the question is, who's gonna be the hyper carry for this both teams? Mm -hmm. Because the link and Claude is totally out. Look at this, Malaysia Ooh, respecting Natalia. BK's Natalia is like, we don't want that anymore. That was not yeah, fun at nice. all. While Myanmar says, you know what? Lancelot's one of the few good tanks, uh, sorry, cores left here. Let's get him out. It's funny how the first phase of uh, picks went. It felt like it was orchestrated, like uh, uh, a karate kata or like a taekwondo formation. Like both teams know exactly what's up, right? Side laner, side laner, tank. Side laner, side laner, tank. But now, as we come around, Malaysia picks up Zorn's. Uh, yeah, is that Zorn? Yeah, that's Zorn's Farsa. And Myanmar here now has to make the decision. They're going to pull the trigger first. Which core? Yeah, yeah. All the four uh, Malaysia earlier, they actually picked the same Farsa pick. So it wasn't effective for them. So I guess for uh, Team Malaysia. Oh, it's going to be again the Kimi. Speaking, I was talking about Malaysia. But I saw this uh, Kimi and the Luoyi pick. This, uh, these are the deadly heroes that we've mentioned uh, for the duration or the totality of this uh, Razor's invitation. Luoyi was actually the talk of the town for the Group A. So we are seeing this right now for Myanmar together with the Kimi. Talk about damage. Talk about the DPS and the um, turret push prowess. Yeah. This Kimi has it. And for Malaysia, this is a bit of a gamble if they will go for the 1-1. One, one. But if... Oh, it's going to be the higher boost again. So, yeah, a lot more gamble for Malaysia though because this is just almost the same for the draft pick on game number two okay, in terms of here. hyper carry. Here's here's what I'm, inter here's what I, what I'm thinking. Um, there's more than one way now for Myanmar to protect the Kimi, right? You, you have the Kufra, you have the Uranus that could stay in the back, and then you have the Luoyi. Like, you can portal out, you can uh, hit uh, the diversion on... This Hayabusa pick, this is going to be the end of their journey for this Razor's Invitational. Oh, will Machismo be worth it when your tournament life is on the line? Can Swag really overcome success i'm not sure but nonetheless team myanmar here going up against team malaysia it is going to be sudden death an elimination here is eminent ladies and gentlemen both teams staying to their side of the map for sure and i think it's going to be team malaysia chantel focusing on keeping fix healthy they have to make sure that he gets his buffs yeah, he needs to because uh, earlier the, the problem uh, was it uh, was uh, actually he wasn't able to take the jungle against Myanmar. And now, uh, what's good about Malaysia though? We haven't mentioned Rumpel for a quite period of time, but he is one good of a, at, an Atlas player here for Malaysia. So we need to see those uh, kind of uh, initiation plays where he takes three, maybe four players against Myanmar. Right mm -hmm. then, then there the better answer goes in. But then again for Myanmar, oh, they're actually no. answering the aggressiveness. Team Malaysia has to secure this one or else Pix is going to be delayed. Oh, it's happening again. Who got it? Oh, Hiccup took it. Hiccup took it. First blood here is going to be onto Sham. Sham, Sham, Ozoroveki gets it. Level three times. No need for no Inferno. We'll take it as it is. DK might be up next. Ozoroveki still has the jump, still has his glaives with him, throws it out and lets DK go. But I think in the long run, Feek still needs his buff, Chantel. Feek still needs yeah. his buff. He actually needs it for him to uh, be able to spam his skills here for his Hayabusa. We all know that uh, this kind of heroes are actually dependent. It's like a Ling that has uh, um, a secluded, um, I guess, mobility as compared to that one. But then again, Malaysia, they took this uh, first spot, which is actually good. It's just that it's the hyper care that is being killed here. Ben Mar Minmar. Nice setup play there or pickup play there coming in from Team Myanmar. Actually taking down Fix. We mentioned earlier how the gravity of uh, getting uh, the hyper carry early on or the early part of the game. Yeah, and Fix here not having a good time, and I think that is an understatement because one, he lost out on his blue. Two, he died in about two minutes. Like your core should not be doing that, and I think Team Malaysia here has quite the mountain to climb. Now Fix back on the horse, just returning to mid lane, and he can't even cross the river. That's how scared Fix is right now. And I think Team Malaysia they really need to play it safe. And it's hard to say that because we're three minutes in. We're just three minutes in. 
Yeah, and actually for your Malaysia, I guess the offlaners and the side laners here need to step up. They need to force everything, everyone out against Team Myanmar for them to be able to make space for this Hayabusa to go and get or actually recover from that uh, death that he has. But then again, it's going to be also the Vecchi being the, taken here by Myanmar, who said that uh, they should step up. But then again, uh, they actually pick off. But then again, here comes the Feather Airstrike by Soren. Sam 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 actually dives in for him. He goes by the wings, by wings, and this is another yet buff that Malaysia has to secure. But Turtle is the priority here of Myanmar. Oh, Myanmar, were they able to take it? Yes, they did. And again, Yellow Flash here has all the buffs he needs in the world. And let's look at the uh, net worth here. Uh, 2100 on uh, Yellow Flash while Team Malaysia's fix ugh, about 1800 he's down and that uh, machete it's not even upgraded yet so fix here he's yeah. gonna find far more he can and up top it looks like that's where he wants to pick it he's going up against Royal Milk but Royal Milk not gonna have any yeah, and actually for uh, Malaysia, that is a bit of a problem for them because uh, right now, we can see Myanmar actually zoning them. We have the Lu Yi with that vacuum. You see the damage? That's, uh, that's actually against the Thams. So that there alone, if you have that kind of damage and you have the DPS for the Kini, that is going to be a problem for Malaysia on this game. So far for Myanmar, they, they're up in terms of gold. And again, for Malaysia, we need this uh, side to actually step up for this Hayabusa to recover for this uh, discrepancy in terms of gold. Again, here comes the damage. You have the vengeance for Alzer Becky in the middle lane. Rump Rumpel goes in for the backup um, and they're gonna disengage. For Myanmar, what's good about this one is right after they clear minion wave, they just uh, go and uh, um, go in for another objective or maybe go on the top lane or actually rotate against Malaysia. Yep, yep, yep. And I think this is... Uh... A practice in futility because Fix should not be fighting Royal Milk. Now Royal Milk picks up the immortality. It's all the more worse for Team Malaysia because that ex Borg will just refuse to die. Now Lord Arts engaging with DK Yellow Flash with the maximum charge. Wow. Team Myanmar bullying Malaysia out of their own lane up top. And Yellow Flash gonna be cutting this, waiting for the next wave to go for the push. And look at that down bottom. Uh, that is Sam 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 just working on that turret. It's almost down. But look at this. Nice catch yeah. here by our Kufra DK. But Rumpel gonna go down and almost oh. is Fix. Sham 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 gonna try to get a bite on him. Both using the Cyclone Eye, but Fix gets it. Sham 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 with the flicker and the Ionic Edge. Down goes Fix. Another free turtle here for Team Myanmar. Uh, this is what we were saying actually, Leo, uh, on uh, before the start of the game, where we said that it will be difficult for this Hayabusa to actually burst down the heroes here of Myanmar. Imagine trying a shadow kill against the Uranus, so even the expert that has the immortality. So I guess for uh, Malaysia here, all they need to do is to go for the split push because Hayabusa, man, totally he doesn't have the damage here against Myanmar. For uh, Myanmar, though, what's good about this team is that they're just zoning the players. Uh, uh, so they're just zoning players of Team Malaysia away. Um, we can see right now Sam 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 very deep in terms of uh, the map here against Malaysia. They're just ready on taking uh, this uh, turret down against Malaysia. So right. far from Myanmar, in terms of uh, the turret push though, um, Malaysia is up because or is ahead because they actually destroyed the turret on the middle lane or even on the top lane. So I mm -hmm. guess for Malaysia, that is a bit of light for them onto this game. Oh yes, for sure. And uh, what's interesting here is possibly that is the key for Malaysia's victory. They can still uh, win this if they play the split push game into the late game. But as I say, that Rumpel gets bursted down by this three-man death squad from Myanmar. And Yellow Flash, just like in game number two, has yet to die. Mm, the damage is just there for Yellow Flash. The DPS is just there. If they want to take down Turret, it's just doing it. But then again, here comes a fe Feather Airstrike for Sword. The damage is not enough, and actually, Team Myanmar just backs away on that. Well, that is happening, though. We have the Uranus just clearing the minion wave for Myanmar. It's not 
a, a solid push though but then the mere fact that your minion wave is just flowing on the side lane mm -hmm. that is already an edge for yeah. the team knowing yeah. that you have uh the sakim here actually the Luigi and the kufir combo just rotating against militia the map mission is just there it's difficult for this forest to go in for the better airstrike because he knows that there is a kufra that is ready to dive in or to actually uh, ready to counter him out yeah, no i think uh the key here is um actually getting rid of yellow flash but again with with the way that malaysia is picking their fights uh they're trading but with the wrong people like royal milk here uh just got rained down the ult upon but again discipline from peaks he did not pop uh the uh, shadow kill so that's something right but oh wow sham 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 stole the purple Ooh. from lord arts there's oh Man, uh, that was uh, maybe the get. I guess the still the century. You are Uranus. You don't have actually a damage. You're just relying on your skills, but you're you were actually able to still a buff against an Esmeralda. So I guess for this one, Team Inmar really is on the upper hand. You can see the damage there. For Sorn, he pops in this um, uh, Fairy Airstrike, but the damage is just not enough. We can see this uh, level 11 uh, players, Royal Milk and even Sam Sam. Yellow Flash actually, now at level 14, so see the level gap for these players. But then again, for Team Malaysia, all they need to do is to go for the split push. If ever this that the, the split push, a game play is effective for them that is going to be a difficult uh, situation for Myanmar mm. although for Myanmar they're just um, uh, taking advantage of uh, this um, um, disadvantage uh, situation yeah. that Malaysia is uh, facing through yeah no uh, Chantel the thing here is the split push is essentially what you do when you're losing right so team Malaysia here they have to understand that they have to acknowledge the fact that they are behind and then from there they can make the decision and say you know what we're not gonna pick fights we'll play defensively uh fix you go split push because i think he's the only one who's capable of that because he's the only one with an escape but the thing is that's your core so you're already just burying yourself much much deeper uh in 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 in, in defeat because even your core is scared for his life so with that being said the map has turned blue here uh Team Malaysia cannot find uh, that window to split push in the past two minutes. And Lord is up now. Oh, at least they got something. Down goes Royal Milk. Finally, that's the x Borg, though. I'm pretty sure a lot of resources went into taking down all four of his life bars uh, after the immortality. And now, Cham 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 just bullying Fix. Yeah, actually, um, uh, this, uh, I mean, Fix here is in a complex situation and we know that Hayabusa needs to actually burst for the shadow kill but then again this is Uranus we are facing or this is Uranus he's facing we have the damage though for Sorn but uh, in terms of the gold lead in terms of the I mean the item lead here of Myanmar it's kind of difficult for Malaysia to actually burst the players of Myanmar we have the necklace of Tyrants plus a winter dungeon here for the Luoyi imagine the export having uh, this immortality and even the bloodless axe Actually, the top farmer for this game is 8k, so that is a bit of a gold lead against uh, the Hayabusa, which uh, still stands at 6.5k gold. Speaking of damage, for Team Malaysia, they are heavily relying for their finisher, which is fixed. Not unless they will uh, go totally for the farce uh, kind of burst. So yeah. uh, again, Lord has been what? taken here. Oh, oh what, what a steal! Oh, that death is all the more worth it, and he actually almost took down Yellow Flash. That was so close. And now Zorn walking the other way will not escape the wrath of Myanmar. That was our Lord, good sir. Why would you do that? Two down for the price of the Lord. I'll take it. That is a Friday bargain, Chantel. Yeah, thank God it's Friday for Team Malaysia after taking the Lord. That is actually a buy-down for them to turn things around or even yeah. blow their minion waves in an advantage situation against Myanmar. So I guess for uh, Myanmar, uh, the kind of objectives they need to secure that or else Malaysia, they will have this Esmeralda uh, scaling up his damage. So uh, that is a problem for them. Although Fix, oh my god, he's gonna be killed here by the hands oh. of Yellow Flash. The vacuum was just there. The damage was just there for Team Myanmar. We have the Lord being defended here by Myanmar. It's gonna be 11 2 for the score. Speaking of Cold Need, we have 7.7k for this Hayabusa alone, but then again, it's gonna be a killer spree for Yellow Flash onto his skinny. Oh no. 
I was gonna say one for the Lord. Like, Ozura Veke for the Lord, that's a good deal. But since um, the... Uh, I'm sorry, uh, one of the other heroes went down as well, like, it's not worth it anymore. And just like that yellow flash, able to capitalize down bottom. There were less heroes in his face. Hence, he was able to punch in a little more. Now this turret is being threatened. Ozura Veke here caught out by yellow flash's bullets and now that is actually a orange buff empowered um kimmy and top taken down by royal milk now mid gonna follow through oh, should oh. Like game number two all over again dk jumping in yeah. with the tyrant's rage and up next is going to be rumple looking for the perfect fatal links he actually used oh, it man. on cooldown fix here has the shadow kill he needs to pop it he needs to press the button the right oh, time Lord 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 to get out of here flicker out is the esmeralda delayed damage by yellow flash glowing one doing work royal milk barely surviving rumple taken out by royal flash that's two down three defenders oh, left for team malaysia make that two fix and also Raveki, the only ones left this is their last stand big take for royal milk sam 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 wants Fix it Yellow flash with the help of ionic edge takes it one defender left it's also Raveki. a minion wave from top and bottom coming in Hiccup taken out by Ozura Becky. It's a white it. Yellow Flash is it's got so it. It's a white is going to be moving on to the playoffs. And we have to say goodbye to Team Malaysia. Chantel, how intense was that?